My name is Taylor. I'm on the customer education team here at GoSite, and this is the Getting Started with GoSite workshop. Um, this workshop is for those of you who are new to GoSite and are looking for a quick intro to the tools and how to navigate your dashboard. So just some general housekeeping here. This meeting will be 30 minutes. The session is being recorded. A follow-up email after the session will include a recording and additional resources. Your audio is muted, so please drop your questions in the Q&A feature so they will be answered during or at the end of the presentation. And also just to clarify, the Q&A feature you see is for you to drop in your specific questions um, for which any answered questions will appear for the group to see. And the chat feature is to contact us privately if you need to. So we encourage you to ask your questions in the Q&A in case someone else has the same question. And lastly, the Q&A and chat will be monitored by my colleague Juan. Alrighty, so now that we've gone over the house rules, let's move on to today's agenda. We will start off by going over a brief intro of the tools. Keep in mind that this is a high level overview of the tools and is intended to show you where to find the tool and what each of their function is. If you'd like further demonstrations on tool functionality and how it works, please attend one of our other workshops that'll walk you through tips and tricks for that specific tool. Next, I'll show you how to adjust your profile settings and notifications. After that, I'll show you how to verify that your business information is correct in the Manage My Business settings. And you can find out where you can sync your existing Google My Business account and Facebook page to your dashboard. And finally, I'll show you how to add media and photos to your dashboard, and I'll explain why it's important to do so. And I also wanna mention if at any point throughout you're feeling like you need some extra help getting your dashboard set up, we do offer a getting started call with our implementation team. So we'll provide that link in the follow-up email so you have the ability to talk with someone and walk you through it if you need it. So that being said, let's hop into our dashboard here. So just a refresher, this is the desktop version of the GoSite dashboard. This is a test account that we use, but this is how you should see it when you log in. You can access your desktop dashboard by visiting cloud.gosite.com. And I just wanna mention real quick while we're here, if you ever need any additional support outside of the workshop for general inquiries, please utilize the live chat feature here or email in the top right corner. You can go ahead and chat here. You can also search for articles in our knowledge base, but we do have 24 seven support. So you can get help at any time if you need it. So I just wanted to mention that. That being said, let's dive right in. I'm gonna start by navigating to our left side menu here, and I'm going to quickly go through where to find each tool and a brief description of its functionality. As stated before, if you want a more in-depth demo of each tool, please attend one of our other tool overview workshops. So we'll go ahead and start with the home tab here. The home screen is your central hub for all the latest activity within your dashboard. You'll get a feed of notifications here. You can see basic business info and a quick overview of some important tool statistics. From here, we'll move on to the contact hub. The contact hub is a centralized location for all of your customer information. The purpose of the contact hub is to organize all your customer information with ease. You can access all the information you need about your contact by clicking on the name, or if you need to edit or add anything, you can scroll over to manage here and then click on edit contact. Moving on to payments. With the payments tool, you can seamlessly collect and process payments and also send invoices at any stage in the customer lifecycle. Getting paid is as easy as clicking this button right here. And you can also see all of your transactions here as well. Moving along to the messenger tool. So let's see, the messenger tool allows you to enjoy a centrally located instant messaging hub for multiple channels of communication. So you can check messages and conversation history, send outbound messages via email, text, or website chat. And you could see all through here. And you could also see on your contact hub on the contact page, your past history as well. Now for booking. 
With the booking tool, you can book customers through a centralized platform. You can add bookings manually up here. And our payment tool also integrates with booking, which allows you to receive a payment in full or take partial payments or deposits from customers upon booking. And you could easily view the booking calendar from desktop or mobile app. And we do have a booking tool workshop that dives deeper into this, if you want to keep that in mind. Next, we have reviews. So the reviews tool allows you to send review requests to your preferred review platforms, as well as manage and respond to reviews. You can send a review request up here. And here you will find statistics on your overall rating, total reviews, reviews found the last 90 days, and some more infographics down here. There's also a workshop on this tool as well. So I'll go ahead and move to placement. Our placement tool is the easiest online listing solutions for local businesses. This tool allows you to manage, control, and update all of your business information across the web. And I just wanna point out um, something real quick with listings. So when you pull this up, you wanna make sure your listings are pulling through as you see here. If your screen doesn't look like mine here and you don't see more than two listings, Feel free to utilize that getting started setup call with the implementation team and then can help you get sorted there. So there's a couple tools within the placement tool. As you see here, um, we do offer a workshop on that as well. So definitely check that out if you want to learn more about those. Now, if you have a website hosted through GoSite, you can find and edit it down here. And I'm sure you can guess what I'm going to say. There's also a workshop for that too. And the last tool we have here is the engagement tool, which allows you to create and send email campaigns to the contacts you have in the contact hub. You can create new campaigns here and monitor statistics of the campaign down here. So now that we've gone over briefly our tools, let's go ahead and hop into settings and verifying business info. We're going to go ahead and move over to the top right corner and select my account from the drop down menu of your profile icon. Here you'll find your profile contact information for your account you have with us. You can also manage your social logins, change your password, take a look at your products and subscription billing, adjust your time zone, create response templates, and you can update your notifications here as well. So you have a couple of different options. For notifications, that would be this bell icon, SMS or text reminders and notifications, email notifications, and the mobile app notifications. Next, we'll go into the manage my business settings back in our drop down menu here. And as we can see under the sync data section, both our Google and Facebook business profiles are connected and synced to the dashboard. If they were not synced, you would hit the sync button that would appear here and simply log in with your respective uh, credentials. And again, I'll mention if you're having trouble with this, go ahead and utilize that getting started call. Now, in order to make sure branding and messaging are both professional and relevant, we want to make sure we keep tabs on the information in this page. So any relevant business details like email, phone number, et cetera, do change over time. We'll want to up update those here. The reason this is so important is because almost all the, the information on this page syncs directly with your online directories. So if something isn't accurate here, it would cause it to be inaccurate in other areas as well. So right below this section, we'll see the business address and business areas that are relevant. You'll want to update these to include the most relevant zip codes and geographic areas that you want to focus on providing services in. You could add a zip code down here by clicking this little blue plus sign. Click add another. We'll go ahead and stay in San Diego here. And then click save. So now we have that here. So these business areas tie directly into the service area section of your Google My Business profile, which Google has designed to be optimized for a local area of search. So in other words, your profile is going to be most visible to those searching for your types of services in about a 15 to 17 mile radius of the address used on your Google My Business page. 
So just a note on that. Next up, let's take a look at the business description down here. With this, we want to make sure it could be read conversationally, and then it also contains keywords uh, about your location and the types of services you provide. This will make your profile more accurate and relevant for prospective customers searching for services. Moving on from there, you'll want to keep your services relevant. So especially if you ever add new services to your business, you could add those in this section right here. So next, let's go to media up here, and I'll show you how to upload quality photos and videos, which then show up on your online profiles and directories and can also be used on your website. So we're still under the manage my business settings here, and we'll go ahead and see media on the left hand side here and go ahead and click on that. So once you're in here, you can go ahead and click add media and then add photos or videos from your computer. Or if you're on the mobile app, you can add them from your phone as well. These could be pictures of your storefront, your team or various projects you've worked on. Doing this helps make your profile more personal and trustworthy to your prospective customers. So let's hop over to our business hours up here. You can adjust your business hours here. And when you adjust the hours here, the changes will reflect appropriately both on your website that you have with GoSite and all of your listings here. And lastly, I just wanna to touch on the team section here. If you have additional staff or team members, you can add them here under add new user, enter their information here, and then you can also adjust their permissions um, and the access they have to your dashboard. Um, so you can adjust as you deem appropriate for them. So that wraps up the desktop version. Um, I'm gonna be moving on to a phone demo, but I did wanna check to see if we have any questions in the chat here. Looks like we're good. I'll give it a second if anyone wants to drop them in here. All right, so now I'm going to jump to our mobile app here. Bear with me one second. Okay, and for reference, I'm using an iPhone. It may look a little different on an Android, but you'll get the gist of it here. And we also have help articles in our knowledge base for Android. So I'm in the Apple App Store right now. I went and searched GoSite in the top here. If it wasn't downloaded, um, you would see the Get button as you see in the app below here. Um, but since I have it downloaded, I'll go ahead and click Open. And this is our home page here. Um, we'll see the overview of our Home tab here. You'll see some icons at the bottom, Home, Contacts, Payments, Messenger, and Menu. We'll go ahead and click on menu so we can bring up all of our tools here. So you'll see everything listed here. I'll go ahead and show you the my account settings, which is in the second row, the last one on the right here. Again, you'll see the my profile, social logins, password, notifications, and products like we saw on the desktop. We'll go ahead and click menu again, and we'll go to our manage my business settings. So we'll see our business information here. You can update anything here, just like you saw in the desktop version. Click update at the top right when you're done to save your changes. Your business hours here, team, you would go ahead and hit the bottom right blue plus sign to add a team member. Media, you can bring up all your photos and videos here. Again, the blue plus sign in the bottom right corner to add, and it'll pull from your photo library. And lastly, I want to show you um, the support icon here. This is where you can chat with our support team. You can either do a live chat and talk to someone immediately, or if you had something more extensive you want more detail on, um, like a description or resources, we can do the help and support um, email there. So let's go back over to our presentation and we can go over a recap of what we learned today. So we went over how to verify and update business information in the GoSite dashboard. We learned the manage my business and my account settings. We know how to connect and sync Google My Business and Facebook pages. We know how to verify your online listings and where you need to go if you need support getting help set up. 
and we know how to add and update media. 